Social Security Administration. How can I help you? I got a voicemail to call this number. There's something wrong with my Social Security. Somebody uh, used it or something. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't quite get what they were trying to tell me. Okay. So is this the same number on which you received the call from us? Yes. Okay. Can you verify me your first or last name, sir? First name is Juan. J-U-A-N. Last name Hunglo. H-U-N-G-L-O. Juan Hunglo. Okay. Okay, Mr. Juan. Can you verify me the last four digit of your social so that I can pull out your case file and tell you the reason of the call? 1463. Okay, give me a moment. Let me pulling out the case file, then I will okay. let you know okay. the reason of the call, okay? okay? Okay. Thank you for holding the line. Okay. So the reason of the call was to inform you that there are some legal enforcement actions which we filed on your social security. And I also received an order to suspend your social right what? this moment because your social has been found suspicious for criminal how activities you, in the state of Texas. How can you suspend so my I'm social security? That. How can you suspend my social security, really? I, I don't First understand of all, this. Can you tell me? Can you tell me, have you ever been to that state of Texas before, like for any vacations or any other reasons? No, I've never been to Texas. Okay, and have you ever lost your wallet or someone has stolen no, your wallet from you it. with no, any kind I, of no, 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 I've never lost it. Okay, Mr. John. Juan, can you tell Juan, me recently, John, did you apply Juan, for any kind of... Juan is my name. Yes, yeah, Juan. I'm sorry. Okay. So, Mr. Juan, tell me, like recently, did you apply for any kind of personal loan or credit card where you apply for, where you provide your no. social security no. details? No. So first of all, sir, let me tell you that why I'm asking all this information from you, because this is the case of theft of identity. Someone is using your social in the state of Texas for committing criminal activities, and for that, this is the ongoing investigation call. Oh. Uh, and that is the only reason I was asking for your social from you, so that I okay. can make sure that I am not going to investigate any innocent person. No, I'm innocent. I, I didn't do I nothing. And I personally believe that you are not the real culprit behind these no. criminal activities. But in order to prove that, I need some evidence. And for that evidence, I am recording this conversation as a proof, which I am going to use inside the courthouse. Okay. So make sure that this line will not going to be put on mute hold or get disconnect, okay? Okay. And before we start this investigation, sir, could you just grab a pen and a piece of paper handy so you can write down my name, my batch ID, and your case ID number because you should know that which officer you are talking to right now. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, my name is investigation officer Matt Donner. M Matt who? Hello? Matt, I didn't get your last name, Matt. It's D O. N O V A N Donovan. Okay. And my federal batch ID number is seven two zero one five. Okay. And your case ID number is D as in David, M as in Michael, C as in Charlie. It's D M C DMC. three three four. Three three four, okay. Four. I got it. Okay. So now, sir, as I am talking to you since from last few minutes, and I found that you don't have any information about this case, right? Well, no, that's why I'm calling you, because I don't know what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to relay all the information to you. But before I proceed, I would like to notify you that the lines on which we are talking right now are monitored and recorded by higher authorities. So I would appreciate you if you do not interrupt me while I'm speaking so that you must be able to understand about your case. And once I've done my part, then I will give you a fair chance to speak, all right? Go ahead. Great. So here we go. The investigation was started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas, and the car contained some blood and drug residues inside it. And after investigation, we also found that the car was rented on your name and on your personal social information. There were two addresses linked with the title of the vehicle. And the addresses which were in the city of Rolaid was rented by the U.S. Marshal. Where was Rolaid? Unfortunately... Texas? Yes, sir. Uh, Let me complete I'm first. in New All York. Right? I'm in New York. Sir, we are not saying that, that you are the person who doing this kind of well, criminal I've activity. Well, I've never been to Rolaid, Texas in my oh. life. 
I told you that someone is using your social security number in the state of Texas. Okay, but we don't know who is the real culprit is. Okay. That is the only reason I am recording this conversation as an evidence. I okay. told you in the beginning of the call. Okay. All right? Okay, go ahead. And I told you, right, don't be interrupt right, me, right. so you have to okay. understand. Well, if I got a question, I'm going to ask you. Go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. I will give you a fair time. You can just ask whatever yeah, well, you want. Okay, once ahead. I done my part. Go ahead. Do your part. And the addresses which were in the city of Raleigh was raided by the U.S. Marshal, but unfortunately, there was no one inside the residence, huh. but we have recovered 22 pounds of cocaine, which is a highly abusive drug. Sure and is. some documentation from financial institutes, such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, and U.S. Bank. And we have found like 20 bank accounts and 11 credit cards, which is linked with your social. And all this entire paperwork has your name on it, and thousands of dollars has been wired from these bank accounts locally and internationally. Okay. Which totally seems suspicious to us because this well, type I've, of money I've laundering never wired recently any money anywhere. I, I don't even know how to wire money. And that is the reason we as a Social Security Administration of the state of Texas has filed a case against you against for me? drug trafficking. <laughs> Sorry. You all right there? Against for me. For drug trafficking and as well as money laundering. But in this regard, we have also checked your past records, and we have found that your banking contains genuine records, and your social have no other complaints in the past, which shows that you are a genuine and a good citizen of the uh, United good States. Citizen, yeah. And that is the only reason we to teach you before you face any legal consequences. Well, why so would if I... you agree to help the Department of you, hmm? I, I don't know why I would face any legal consequences if I didn't do anything. But you have to understand that. So which social security we found in the state of Texas for criminal activities, that social security is under your name. Okay? Well, I can't help and the that. Government it's is not, not me doing it. To... I can't help that. Yeah. I totally understand that, sir. But you have to understand that the government never believe on words, okay? Oh, they, they have don't? proof. Yeah, but they have... All right. Need a proof, all right? Okay. So that is the reason I am recording this conversation okay. as a proof. Recording, but how is that going to prove anything? How is that going to prove anything? I don't know what that's going to prove. I will let you know each and okay. everything, okay. but you have to listen to me to I'm understand trying. each I'm and trying, everything, I'm trying, but right? I'm getting upset here with this, yeah. all this I criminal stuff. I understand that. I understand that. I mean, I haven't been in trouble yeah. since 1973. Line. That is the only reason the higher authorities are listening to our conversation because we know that you are not the person who doing this kind of criminal activity. Well, no, I never. But you have to I never dealt that. In that stuff. I never did that stuff. So first of all, sir, if you are agree to help the Department of U.S. Treasury in this case, then only we can put your case and warrant on hold, as we also have to find the real culprits who has used your personal information for committing these criminal activities. And like as I told you in the beginning of the call, that my higher authorities were listening to our conversation. And yeah. they want to know your willingness that, are you ready to cooperate with the government? Well, in what this have I got to do? Or not? What, what have I got to do? First of all, you need to cooperate. I know that, but what's that mean, cooperate? What have I got to okay. do? What have I got to do to cooperate? That's, you're not telling me what I got to do. Cooperate means, sir, if you are saying that, no, I'm not doing doing no i'm not okay corporate with the government and i okay mm -hmm. you are saying this uh, that you are not willing to cooperate with the government right i didn't say i was or i wasn't but i don't know what i have to do to cooperate i don't know what you want me to do how am i, I going to say yes if i don't know what I i'm going to do you. i will explain you sir okay. if you are saying that that you are not cooperate with the government the government thinks that you are the person who doing this kind of criminal I, activities i didn't That's say why i wouldn't not cooperate, cooperate. The government. i'll give you an example i didn't I'll say i'll give you an example okay sir. okay go ahead if, if you are saying that that you are not willing to cooperate with the government the government thinks that you are the person who doing this kind of criminal activity all right and if you are going to cooperate with the government corporate means you are Listen to me and uh, what I have to say and what you have to do to clear your name from this case. That is the only reason we are just talking on the recording line. Yeah, all right? No. So, first of all, Mr. Hunglo. Yes. We have to suspend your social right away from your name and have to issue a new social on your name so that in future 
we can catch the suspect and as well oh, as you can save about, yourself from what this about kind my, of what activity. about my social security and medicare that i get because i'm retired what about that yeah i understand that there is nothing impact on that we are just suspending your old social security and allowed a new social I'm security retired. number under your name and let me tell you that why we are doing this because your social is already compromised into wrong hand and you and the real culprit both are using the same social well, and we are you, not able to arrest the culprit the real why don't you arrest the culprit then well, i mean I, I don't understand why you're calling me if you know who the culprit is sorry that is the reason we don't know who is the real oh, culprit that is the is. reason we are just talking over this recording line okay yeah that is okay. the reason and that is the only reason we are just issue a new social security under your name once you are getting a new social security under your name then you and the government know that you have a new social security but the culprit is not aware about that uh, when he or she using your old social security number that time we will able to identify the real culprit and we will catch them all right well why don't you just look for somebody using in texas because i'm in new york whoever is using in texas is not me yeah i that is the reason, sir. I do believe that you are not the real culprit. I'm not. That is the only reason I believe you, because okay. you are not uh, live in Texas and you I'm, are not I'm, going to, you are not going lo uh, in Texas in your whole life. Okay. Never been. But uh, we don't know who is the real culprit. Is. Culprit, okay. culprit is going to anywhere, wherever he or she want. All right. We're going so, out. And all right. And I will also transfer this call to my senior officer with United States Treasury Department who is the authorized person in regard with your case who will help you out that how you can clear your name from this case and how you will get your new social security. What right? they do, just mail me a new one? I don't, I don't know how they would do that. A new social security. Then they got yeah, to change, ha yeah. change it and everything. Oh. Now he will tell you each and everything. Basically, sir, I am not the person who give you this information because oh. I am the representative here. Okay. I am the person I who understand. just give you the information regarding the case. Okay. My all senior right. officer is the authorized person who give you the information well, regarding me, okay. these things. Let all right? Talk to him then. Yeah. Yeah. But before I am going to transfer this call to my senior officer, okay. I would like to verify a few more information quickly, okay, quickly. which my officer okay. need in order to clear your name from okay. this case. Like okay. as I what told you, you that. We are going to suspend your social, which means all the bank accounts, which is linked with your social, which includes your account, as well as going to be shut down today, because culprits are using well, these what bank am I gonna accounts do for, for money if you shut mine, well, How are you going to shut mine down? What am I going to do for money? Sir, I told you, you have to listen to me very carefully, what I'm saying. You just interrupt me in the middle of the conversation. Well, you said you were going to freeze my telling. money. You said you are going to freeze my money. But... Before I, we are going to shut down these bank accounts, the government wants to know that from the list of 20 bank accounts, which bank account belongs to you and which bank account belongs to the real culprit, so that you are not going to lose your heart and soul. Oh, money. okay, all right. And I am on the federal. Line, okay, now so I am not authorized to ask you directly for your account number, routing number, debit well, you should card not. number, your or any kind security. of security. <laughs> should not. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, in order to identify which accounts belong to you, I am going to ask you three basic information. Okay. The name of the financial institution you are banking with, the type of account you have with them, and the available balance as of today, even if it is in negative, even if it is in cents. You need to verify the numbers so that I can identify your account, okay? Okay, okay. So, Mr. Hunglo, can you verify me the name of the bank which you are dealing with under your name? TD Bank. Okay, that TD is the only bank which you have? Yeah, I'm retired. I don't have okay. many bank accounts. I got one bank I deal with. I'm retired. I uh, I understand, but sir, this I is my used job. To, I have to, to work in a candy so fact. I have I to, to I'm retired. I yeah. worked in a candy fact okay, for years. I, understand. I was a peanut brittle breaker upper at the end of the line. All right, all right. Yes. All right. And with TD Bank, you have a checking account or savings account? I got both. both. I got both. Yes. Okay. And how much you have in your checking or savings account? 800 in my checking, probably. All right. And what about your savings? Probably 1,200. Okay. And do you, you do have a debit card of this bank, sir? Yeah. I got a debit card. All right. Okay. okay, and Mr. Hunglo, is yes. anything else which is linked with your social except your TD Bank, like any other credit card or any debit card or any I bank? got a credit card with TD Bank. Okay, and what is the credit it's limit platinum. of your debit card? It's platinum. 
Uh, it's flat in a pretty limit, limit, Yeah, limit's like $10,000. All right. Okay, so Mr. Anglo, what I'm going to do, as I told you, my senior officer is the authorized person who will give you the information regarding the all, all the information regarding the case. Okay. And I have to update this information to my U.S. Treasury Department, okay. so they will easily differentiate between yeah. your credit card and That's your bank account. That's what we got to do. So you we got to differentiate your bank so you card. don't take mine. Okay, go ahead. Hook me up with the other guy. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you for holding the line. Your call just connected to me. This is a senior officer from the Social Security, and my name is Corey. It's Corey Coomer. How can I help you? Corey Coomer? How do you spell your last name, Corey? Yeah, it's K as in killer, U as in umbrella, M as in monkey, A as in Adam, R as in Robert. It's Coomer. Oh, Coomer. Corey Coomer. Coomer, all right. Okay. That's right. So, uh, you can also know that I'm a batch number. Okay, yeah. I need that. It's 75. Right. It's 75. Yeah. 23. 23. 619. Okay. All right. So, I can see here that what is the reason you call connected to me. It's just because of this case where we have found that somebody is using your social number in our state of Texas for the criminal activities. And this is that, why that's what Matt your Donovan call is connected said. to That's me. what Matt Dunneman said. He told me all that, and I told right, him right. I'm so, in New York. I'm not in Texas. I've never been to Texas. Right. Okay, okay. So let me tell you for what purpose your call is connected to me. Okay. He said you're going to give right. me a new social so security I'm here number. To just, uh, that's, that's right. So let me get on a point, okay? Let me okay. talk first. Yeah, okay, go ahead. So I'm here to first of all suspend your social security number so we could find out the real criminal over this case. Yeah, but okay? that won't, he said and it won't simply, affect my social security and my Medicare, right? Yeah, that's I'm right. Retired. That won't affect your yeah, social okay. security. All right. I understand. All right. Let me explain okay, you first. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Let me just right. first. Finish. All right. Mm -hmm. Right. So we're gonna suspend your social security number out from your name for the next half, you know, some time period, so we can see that the criminals are using your social number to open a bank account. Okay. So we can simply find out that criminal. Right. Also, you're gonna receive a new social security number, but. It won't right. affect you any of your social security benefits, your many, you know, uh, the the things that you're receiving, right? That won't affect you by anything because once it will be going to be proven that you were the innocent one, simply you will gonna receive those things with your new number. Okay. okay. All right. Right. Oh, just a minute. Right. Just a minute. Just a Polly. Polly, quiet down. I got a parrot. I don't know where he gets that language from. I think my cousin taught it to him. Okay, go ahead. Uh, okay, all right. Okay, so right. the things which will be going to be happen, all right, uh, right. I'm here. Yep. So let me tell you one thing straight. Okay. okay. As just to find out the criminal, we just yes, just to find out the criminal, we're going okay. to be suspending your social and giving out you a new one. Okay. Your new social now number you're gonna will mail be, going to be getting you, receiving by. Do you mail by. me the new one or how's that? No, work? no, no. No. Okay. How do you I? You have it? to go to the social security. To receive oh, that. I have to go. Okay. Yeah, there's one down on first day of. Tomorrow. Okay, I'll go down there tomorrow. Right. Right. All right. Tomorrow. That's right. So tomorrow you need to go to the social security. And just should to I give him this your, case number? A new social should I give him this case number? Right. That uh, Matt Donovan gave me? Right. DMC 334. That DMC 334. Yes. Okay, I'll give him right. that. And then they'll give so me once you're going to give that number to them, Okay. okay, we're gonna give you the new social security card, oh, okay? Okay, I'll go down there tomorrow. Right, right. Okay, so now, right thing. at this moment, Juan, that only thing yes. that you need to take care about, let me explain to you, okay. is once we're gonna suspend your social security number, what the government declared is that they will gonna close out every bank account one by one. It one doesn't matter one. which account belongs wow. to you or which account belongs to you. Okay. What about my account? Yes. What about my account? So my money. This is what the thing... Okay, this is what the thing I'm going to explain you if you're going to let me to talk. I'll let you if talk. If you keep interrupting me, I cannot uh, be able well, to I have questions. You. I'm nervous. I'm nervous, so Corey. If you have a question, you can ask me at the end. I'm not just going to What if I forget? I'm 70 years old. I might forget what the question is. So before you're going to ask me any question, I will already going to be telling you what will begin to be happen. Okay. So if you're asking about your bank account, yes. don't worry. Your account will not going to get closed. But there is a procedure or the thing which you have to do to save it. Okay. 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 So what the things is, 
as we have to sus let me tell you what the order is okay, okay. what the government declared okay. is they said that we have to close out every bank account okay but just linked with your social if we have to do the investigation right. but we can see that there is a bank account which belongs to you right like City not bank. all the bank accounts belong right to that's mine yes there is a bank account that belongs to you if your bank account is going to get closed, it will be going to be a problem for you. I guess we it will. What am I going to do for money? So, right. This is what the thing that I'm going to explain you or help you that how you can save okay. your bank account, how you can save your uh, money. Okay. So you're not going to be losing. Because you know, you can understand the order is an order. Uh, order that they yeah. already pro, yeah. you know, provided that to, to close the bank accounts. What we can do okay. is that before they are closing the bank account, I can help you to save your bank accounts and money, right? Okay. So, okay. So, first of all, um, I'm going to ask you, is your TD Bank is open right at this moment? My TD Bank is 5, 4. No, it's not open. It closes at 5. It's not. It closes at 5. What's the time now at your state? I'm 547. 548. 547. Okay. That's that's fine. And you have any uh, ADM nearby? An ATM. I don't know what an ATM is. But well, ATM. Oh, ATM. Like you can simply ATM. get the funds from it today. ATM, ATM, right? Yeah, uh, there's an ATM right at the uh, Tiddy Bank. There's, there's an one ATM? right outside the Tiddy Bank. Right, right. And what is the limit of your card? How much money that you can withdraw out from the debit card? Well, I don't know. I think it's 300 a day. I don't know. Okay, it's 300 a day. Yes. So what you have to do, let me explain you, okay? So you can save your bank account. Okay. First of all, as you know, right right at this moment, mm -hmm. you know that your bank is closed. Right. So there is not any way where they can go to your bank and save your money by withdrawing it out, right? No, I can't so withdraw it because... Second option, right. I understand. Okay. I understand you can't withdraw it because your bank is no, closed. No, it's closed, yeah. So what, okay. what, right, what will be the second option is, okay. you just have to do the transaction of your bank account as per today, okay? You just have to do the transaction of your bank account as per today, so only for that reason you need to go to the nearby ATM and you need to withdraw the daily limit of the money out from the account. Just to do the transaction, right? So with the help of that, I can show the government that yes, this is your bank account, this not belongs to any criminal, and then they will not gonna close your bank accounts, okay? So I got to go withdraw out three hundred dollars, and then what do I do with it? That's that's right. What do I do with the three hundred dollars? Just keep it with you tomorrow. I don't need to it back. Just keep it with me just till tomorrow when right. I go down to Social Security office. Yes, and deposit it back in your bank account. Tomorrow. So I go take it out tonight and put it right. back in tomorrow. Tomorrow. That's it. You don't have to use it. You don't have to do anything with your three hundred dollars. Just withdraw it and just deposit it back tomorrow. And that makes sense to you somehow. <laughs> okay. Once you're going to be getting the receipt for that, simply with the help of a receipt, we're going to be contacting to your bank. The government will going to contact a bank. And then they will going to see the transaction that, yes, this is your bank account. And then we can simply check that, yes, if it's your bank account, we're not going to be closing it. And the rest of the bank accounts, we're directly going to be closing it. This will going to make sense. Not withdrawing okay. your money and depositing back will gonna make sense. Depositing your money after getting the receipts with the help of that we're gonna be doing talking with the bank and we will gonna verify that it's your bank accounts. This will gonna make sense. Okay, I understand now. So how, how much time it will gonna take you to go to the nearby ATM? Well, I don't know, a couple of minutes. I mean it's only down the street. What difference does it make? How long okay, it takes if me? It's I just only gotta go take it out, right? I just Right. I just gotta go take it out and bring it home with me, right? That's uh, what difference does it make? How long it takes? That's... I'll get it out tonight for sure. Okay, no problem. So once you're done with that, you can do let me know. I will gonna be contacting you tomorrow, okay? Well, well hey, in the meantime, overnight, why don't mm -hmm. you go fuck yourself, you scamming bastard? How about that? Well, you fuckers. Thank you for calling Social Security Administration. How can I help you? Yeah, put Corey Kumar on the phone. I was talking to him. We got disconnected. Sorry, who were you talking to? Corey Kumar. C O R E Y C U M A. Yeah, Corey. Okay, hold on for a second. Okay, thank you. 
Social Security Administration. How can I help you? Yeah, I was talking to some other moron. He was going to connect me to Corey Kumar. Okay. Hello? Thank you for calling Social Security Administration. How can I help you? Yes, I got a call about my Social Security card number. Okay, so yes. when did you receive a call? Well, it was 4.30, but I just got home. Okay, sir. Could you please help me with your first name and last name? Corey Kumar. Uh, 